County, and I'm the board of Opportunity Village uh, Eugene, and I live in Ward 7. We feel it's a basic human right to be able to sleep safely. I feel the city of Eugene should let folks sleep undisturbed from dusk to dawn unless they're committing a crime. However, I recognize that the proposal the city of South has put before you to modify the camping bans is much more limited than that. And we'll be identifying only eight possible places for the unhoused can sleep from 9 p.m. to 7 uh, a.m. I want to thank uh, Kurt Corey, Director of Public Works, and other city staff for their hard work identifying possible locations for these rest stops. And thanks to all of you for your hard work regarding th this issue. On a positive note, we applaud the proposal to change the car camping program to increase from three to six the number of cars, tents, campers, and tents of huts that can be located at any one site. The car camping program has really worked. We have a concept of a tent in the Cal backyard and has improved our security and security of our immediate neighbors. The car camping program up to now has been serving only a small percentage of Eugene's uh, homeless, however. As you just heard, the BLM announced that by July 29th, it'll be remove, removing roughly 100 people from the West Eugene wetlands. So it can restore the area and the mission announced changes that will significantly reduce the number of folks who can sleep there. That's why it's so critical for council to authorize city staff to identify a number of rest stops. One is not enough. The large number of homeless calls for us to take strong action and effective action and think big. We can do it. Homeless advocates are committed to help manage the rest stops. We are willing to recruit camp hosts of living camp sobers who can manage and monitor the sites. We are also willing to help raise funds to pay for toilets and trash recycling for the rest stops. We understand the na neighborhood uh, buy-in will help make uh, this program work, help make the rest stops a success. Opportunity Village Eugene, for example, has successfully reached out to the train on neighborhood and they now strongly support the village at Second and Garfield. We envision talking to any and all, all neighbors uh, who may live uh, near the rest stops. Obviously, not everybody will be supportive. I know you're hearing from folks opposed to the rest stops. I urge you not to let the loudest, most contentious voices put a stop to this program. I believe there is broad support for the establishment of well organized and well run uh, uh, rest stops. Helping other nonprofits advocating for the homeless are committed to working with city staff and city council to make these rest stops work and show the world that Eugene is indeed a human rights city. Thank you.